And welcome back to One Two Three Podcast, everybody. This is episode, what is it, 17? 17. 17 of uh, your favorite weekly two-episode wrestling show. <laughs> this is the NXT edition. Uh, we're talking NXT that aired on uh, January 20th. That's 2016. Right. So, and ironically, a little funny note for you guys: mm-hmm. we actually are recording this hours after we did Raw. We ended up not being able to record Raw and NXT together. Yeah, so it's kind of hence the change of clothing here. <laughs> well, I'm still because I'm yeah. wearing this. I, I literally didn't sleep. I'm as we are doing this. Ironically, I am. So this will kind of give you an idea of what time we're recording this. I'm actually well. There's Cindy. I'm live streaming my the snow outside on my channel, so yeah, you can get an idea of exactly. what we're doing this. And that's pretty neat. <clears throat> All right, so the Royal Rumble's tomorrow, dude. I know. I'm excited. Really? I'm excited too about it. Yeah. And we actually, I, I, all right. While we're talking about the Royal Rumble, mm-hmm. NXT people, you would like to see in the Rumble. I personally would love to see Sami Zayn. I'd love to see Samoa yeah. Joe. Even though they're vying for the NXT World chi- Title, yes, not going to win the Rumble anyway. So I would be totally cool with them just showing up for the Rumble and screwing over a couple of people at least. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it would be a lot of fun. Like we talked about on the Raw episode, there's at least eight spots left that we don't know who's going to fill them. If they gave four of those to NXT guys. And I don't care who they are. Apollo Crews would be cool in there. That he's, would be he's a big sick. Old dude. Yeah. yeah. Baron nice. Corbin. Yeah. I just hope they don't throw people like, um, I don't know, the guys that got beat like crazy on NXT this week. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. I, I wouldn't mind some of the women wrestlers. I mean, Bailey would kick some ass in there. and That would be interesting. I don't think they'd do it. But no, they could, can't because yeah. it's the world championship yeah. match. Yeah, that. Uh, other ones where it's like to get the main spot for um, yes. WrestleMania. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, China was in one once. So it was well, uh, China, Awesome Kong or Karma. It was a whole thing with China where China, they, you know, she kind of fell into the men's category because that woman, I mean, she had muscles. Yeah. Like, she People thought she was a man trying to be a woman for so long. Yeah. But Karma. I, karma, I love. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. First. You love. I love China. I just love China. I've always loved her. I don't care if people thought she looked like a man or not. She was a gorgeous woman. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, Karma, who was awesome Kong in TNA, she was in the Royal Rumble one year, too. So, I mean, she's a big woman uh, Um, in a different way. (laughs) Now, awesome Kong. Nia Jax. There you go. (laughs) Put her in the Rumble. But awesome. I don't think she's as pretty as China. I'm sorry, Nia Jax. But she's a big. That was just. She's a big. Oh yeah. 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 She would throw out a few men. Secretly, Brand wants to date Nia Jax. No. He wants to hug her and kiss her and tell her she's all pretty. No. I just want to see her throw some men out out of the Royal Rumble. Oh, this is the awesome. She got in there and threw out the entire League of Nations. I'd be happy. Oh yeah. You know what's <laughs> weird though? Every time I see Nia Jax's face, I think of my mother. Really? Because she has a face that looks kind of like my mom's. Oh, I think of The Rock. <laughs> well, they are related, so I if know. you know she was related to The Rock, and maybe my mom looks like The Rock, you don't know. <laughs> hey, The Rock's a good She movie. layeth the smackdown on many people, I will say that, my mom, so oh, maybe they are. Yeah. Oh, man. Anyway, we should probably get into NXT, right? Yes, uh, but, sir. Yeah, no, to answer your question, I don't think we'd see, like, Finn Balor, Baron Corbin, or anybody like that in there, even though that would be cool. I definitely think we could see, like I said, Apollo Crews or some of the next-level guys, the mid-level guys from NXT. I, I, my, it escapes me right now. If James Storm was still there, him maybe, people like that, I'd love to see some Mojo in it. Oh, damn, yeah. Um, please. Yeah. I mean, if anybody, I mean, with all the talent that's gone right now, yeah, they need, if anybody was to push, it'd be them, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk some news. Uh, speaking of people coming from TNA to NXT, now, uh-huh. he's not going to come for a while, and we'll explain that in a minute, but Austin Aries, it's been confirmed, it's on WWE.com, so it's not anything spoilerish here. Austin Aries is coming to NXT which is and, awesome. Yeah, if anybody that has not seen Austin Aries, he's a former multiple TNA champion. He's got personality for days. He's, he's um, what does he call himself? Um, I forgot. But you know what I'm thinking? You know, okay, AJ Styles oh, made it. No, okay, greatest first. man that ever lived. That's what he calls himself. There you go. <laughs> My question, though, is AJ Styles is going straight up to WWE. 
We assume, right? yeah, that's that's the word right now, yeah. Then why is Austin Aries going to NXT? He's a much smaller guy and a little less known than AJ, maybe? I mean, AJ was kind of like the... It was like TNA and AJ were like Sting and WCW. You know? Okay. He was yeah, the guy okay. that built the company, basically, and he was... Gotcha. Yeah, okay. so, yeah, it's true. You're right. You're right. No, but now my other thing, <clears throat> my part two is Chris Saban. The oh. whole angel. He needs. Wh- which either, I don't care. Chris Daniels or Chris Saban? Two different guys. The fallen angel. Daniels. Oh, Chris yeah. Daniels. He needs. He needs to come up to NXT yeah. or WWE. One of the absolute best matches I've ever seen in my many years of watching wrestling was a triple threat between Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, and Christopher Daniels. Those, oh, those remember that one. Story. I remember that one. I, I actually watched I watched TNA while I wasn't watching WWE at mm-hmm. times because of Sting and uh, everything else going on. Man, I remember that match. Yeah, that was they sick. tore it up. Uh, I mean, TNA had so many good wrestlers back in the day. Now it's like shit. <laughs> yeah, they, they have a few. They have a handful. that, mm-hmm. I, And they're starting to come over because Austin Aries was one of those last holdouts too. Um, mm-hmm. I don't even know if he still – he was – I don't know when he's left TNA because I don't watch it anymore. But <laughs> uh, he could have been gone for months for all I know. But anyway, so Austin Aries, the, the way NXT works, it's they it's kind of like TNA in a way. They pre-tape episodes, which I just found out. I didn't know that. But, I didn't know that either. I thought yeah. that they were literally live. Yeah, I did too. But apparently they pre-tape because they this, this week they taped four episodes. And so the actual episode that Austin Aries debuts on, and this is a minor spoiler – is the March 2nd episode. So it's already happened. It's already happened, but it, we won't see it for two months. <laughs> or for almost Thank two you. months. Bless you. Thank you. Sorry, I got two questions <laughs> at different times. Uh, so, but it, it's going to be cool because I, I, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but I've read the spoiler. Towards the, it's, he comes out at the end of the show, so be prepared for it. Something happens. It starts with you, basically, so... I hope that he doesn't pull what that other guy did. I forgot his name. Well. Yeah, I hope he doesn't do what he did. You know, show up for a couple of shows. He doesn't get the push he wants and then decides to go back to TNA or – I think Lance Storm went back to TNA. Yeah, yeah he so, did. Yeah, he went back to TNA. Lance and Storm. Yeah. Why do I keep calling him Lance Storm? Because <laughs> there is a Lance Storm. I know there is a Lance Storm, but he's not the same guy. No, he's not. Um, no, I don't think Austin Aries will do that simply because when Austin Aries finally got – a good uh, following in TNA. He had already been wrestling for 10 years. He had already been trying to get that break. And I don't think once he gets to that level, which, you know, WWE is like, you know, it's it. For a wrestler, that's that's your ultimate goal. It doesn't matter um, who you are, what you say. That's your ultimate goal because that's the big leagues. Right. I don't think he would go backwards once he got there. I really don't. True. I don't think so either. James Storm, I don't know what happened there. James Storm wants to be, I think he wants to do more, and it's kind of like they offered him a Kurt Angle contract I, maybe. I think they, he was, I don't know. I think he was, okay, people know him, but maybe more people don't know him than people know him. You know what I mean? Maybe. Or maybe he just wanted more activity. And to be honest, Lance Storm, how many times, uh, James Storm, how many times did he wrestle? Twice. Lance Storm hasn't wrestled in a while. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Out of two months. Yeah. And now that we know it's pre-taped, we know he was actually there for a few months then. If he had right. two matches. He had to be there. Yeah, he had to be there for one more within the next two weeks kind of deal. Yeah. So, you know, he, he said, we talked about it a couple episodes ago. He said that TNA offered him the better deal right now, but the door was open. So, you know, maybe... NXT just wasn't willing to pay him as much as he needed right now? You know, I wonder. If they're pre-recorded, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if a legitimate... Like, if you were to go to an NXT event, I'm wondering, if they're pre-recorded, I wonder if it is a two-hour show and every two episodes really equals one live event. I should... Next time I watch NXT, I'm going to take notice to the crowd, Mm -hmm. and I'm going to... I'm really going to try to remember somebody from the first row, because I wonder if a legitimate show is two hours, and every every month is basically two NXT shows. I honestly wonder if it may be four hours, and they actually record all four episodes at once. That would be interesting, too. Yeah, I know with... um, I've been to a few WWE shows uh, back in the day, um, when the Hardys were still there and everything, 
And I know that they would record there, even though Raw was two hours at the time, I think, or it might have. Yeah, it was. I it was two it was hours. Two hours at the time. The actual event would be like four or five hours because they would record. Um, at the time, it was like Sunday Night Heat and Superstars. Uh huh. And, and they would do it all in one sitting. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So you get all that, and uh, you know, I think they'd still probably do the same thing because they still do Superstars a main event. They probably do one before Raw and one before SmackDown. I'm going to take notice of the crowd, though. That'll tell us how many shows legitimately is in one record. Yeah. So that could be interesting. That That's a little more telling of how their, uh, how their show is actually broken up. Which also proves they should do a two-hour live taping. Yeah. It has the potential, then, for sure. If people are going to sit for four hours to watch NXT, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I think it has the potential to do it. Oh, it definitely does. But at the same time, it kind of makes it special when they do the TakeOver specials because those are two hours. Yeah, it's, it's true. That is yeah. true. So maybe maybe it's good what they're doing right now, kind of building it up slowly. If it yeah, got, maybe if it, it is a smart idea. Yeah. If it got too big, it might get overloaded like Raw does. Mm -hmm. I don't know. One. One thing I think NXT needs to improve on, and we were talking about this last night, their commentary and their their guy in the back. I'm talking the guy in the back of NXT. He makes Michael Cole look like freaking <laughs> Adonis. Yeah. You know. I don't even remember. He's what his such name a is. wimp. I don't care what his name is. I mean, uh, seriously, Vince. Brant and I are available. Just fire the p. I know one of them was a wrestler. Oh well, fire him. We'll sit in for NXT and commentate. I mean, Brand could tell me the wrestling moves. I don't know them all by name, but I, I could I could do it. <laughs> he slammed them against the wall. He's a fire you, in his you could, you could be the color commentator. You don't need to know all the moves. I'll, I'll call the there match. There you go. There, there you go. go. Brand will call the match. I'll be the... You know what we should do one day? We should legitimately do a live stream while something's on TV yeah. and do like a mock commentate. Yeah, just mute it <clears> and do our own. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> and mock commentated. Maybe we'll do maybe that. for a live pay per view. We'll we'll do a live stream on my channel and we'll do a, we'll call it like a in parenthesis mock commentate. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do it. and We'll test it out on a, one of the NXT takeovers. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. Because we don't want to listen to those guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the the current team. I mean, Corey Graves is still there. He's been there for a while, but he's I don't know. He's annoying, and he was especially bad this week. Oh, I mean, yeah. He's usually just annoying, but this time that he was especially bad. bad. And and Todd, is it Tom or Todd Phillips? I don't even know. I think he, it's Todd. Whatever his name is, he he used to be a backstage interviewer or whatever. It starts with a T. Yeah, it starts with a T. Phillips. That. Guy. You know what I actually do a lot of times? I'll lower the volume on NXT, or I'll just skip around on the matches because they are so bad. That's yeah, so bad. the commentary. Yeah. He, he was terrible. It was just like, how many times in that episode did he say, I just got back here. Why are you insulting me kind of thing? It's like, I swear he said that like three times. They're wimps. They are wimps at, at the commentating in <sighs> NXT. That's one thing I can say, and that's so bad. It was bad. Uh, get Byron Saxton back. He's on Raw now, though, so he's not going anywhere. <laughs> bring, bring in Larry. Bring in like WCW. Get Larry Zabisco. Get freaking Tony <laughs> Schiavone. I don't give a crap. He's oh. playing golf. Tear down a golf. What? I hate huh? Tony Schiavone. I What's hate wrong him? with him? I hate him. What's wrong with him? <laughs> he's so bad too. He's not as bad as these guys, but he's bad. <laughs> but he's better than these guys. You said that. He's, he's better than these guys. Me and Brandt. What's wrong with us? There's nothing What's wrong with us. Thousand dollar contracts. Yeah, we'll we'll do it. A month. <laughs> a month. <laughs> a month. We'll, we'll do 20, it. Twenty thousand a month. You you got to put us up in hotels and stuff too. <laughs> That's it. And you got to pay for our flights, which I think WWE does honestly anyway. Yeah. Oh, you know, going back to AJ Styles, I know this. this it's not NXT news, but I forgot to mention this last night. I I read this uh, on the last episode. Um, I read this today, actually, so I didn't even know it last night. Duh. There was an article posted on the TNA website about AJ Styles. And oh, they really? Were, they were basically slamming him, saying that he walked out of contract negotiations with them. Um, it was like... So they're making him look like crap, so when yeah. he 
excuse people are going to hate him. They were saying he, we were in talks with him. We had offers on the table. He was ready to go. But then all of a sudden his lawyer said he's not going to honor his commitment, and neither of these other two guys, and we never heard anything more from them, and they just walked out on us basically. And they posted this on their website, their official website. I was like, dang, that's just that's poor that's business. Hard. That's that's cold and it's poor business. You don't do that's that. That's harsh. That is very harsh. That that was just wrong. So yeah, you know, I don't care what the truth is. Like, you just don't do that. That's not. No. And if that's how they're going to treat their their talent, why would they stay? I wouldn't. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, TNA. <laughs> All right. So let's go into some events tonight. Now yeah, there were three too. matches. There were the the three main. There were five matches altogether. Yeah. Uh, but three of the five were literally the uh, three contenders for the number one contendership spot for the NXT belt. There was a Sami Zayn match, it was a um, Baron Corbin match, and there was a Samoa Joe match. Right. If you didn't know already that all three of those men were going to win, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. I, I I don't know. Maybe maybe you don't you don't know yet. But yeah, maybe you don't I, understand the logic of wrestling. <laughs> yeah, because that was kind of. When I heard about these matches, I'm like, well, gee. Um, of course. Especially with Samoa Joe and Baron Corbin. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't see them losing. Sami Zayn, I've never really watched. watched so this yeah. was like his first match with me. But it was kind of telltale that they were going to win yeah. their matches. At least Sami Zayn had Adam Rose, who's been on yeah, the roster. Yeah, I was going to ask you. What, what? Adam Rose, NXT or WWE? I think he I floats, saw him come out. I'm like, what? I think he floats back and forth like Zack Ryder does the same thing. He's part of a tag team in NXT, but most of the time he's in WWE. That goes back to breaking ground. He's been That's on true. there with his tag team partner, and they talk about how they can never really gel completely as a team because Zack Ryder's on the road with the main roster all the time. And then, That's true. Yeah, That's so. very true. So maybe. All I know is... I saw Adam Rose come out, and I love how the crowd's like, ah! he's like, no, I don't want to hear it. I wish he would go back to that. He's such a prude now, and I know that it's part of the story, but. I liked it better that way. Yeah, when he was, what? The party that guy. Or, the that is a party. Guy. Yeah. It worked better. It's, that all was the his time? Character. All the time. Don't be he a limit. Kill the rabbit. <laughs> kill the rabbit. <laughs> Elmerfoot. Anyway. Oh, you, <laughs> you gave me a look like I don't know. Kill the wabbit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a Looney Tunes reference in there. We're killing it. Yeah. <laughs> so out of all the matches, though, I enjoyed Sami Zayn's. I thought his was really uh, – it was fun to watch. I mean, the way he wrestles is amazing. Baron Corbin's I'll, was I'll, okay. I'll tell you, Sami Zayn, I can't stand him for one reason. Why? He always beats me on WWE 2K16. <laughs> oh, that's a reason, Brad. I'm sorry. I hate Sami Zayn for that now. I like Sami Zayn. He's fun. I even, I even like. I don't mind when he beats me in the game. It's like, oh, it's Sami Zayn. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you love hate him. <laughs> exactly. So uh, no, I, I thought his match was the most entertaining. Samoa Joe. I knew he was just gonna go in there. Uh, I thought the other guy had a chance. I forgot what his name was Joey now. Johnny Gargano. Or Johnny Gargano. Yeah. Johnny Wrestling is his nickname, I think. Yeah. I think that's what he said, because they did an interview with him in the beginning. But I, I that match was kind of like, I knew he was going to win, and then he wasn't going to let go of the sleeper hole, and they were going to fight him to get off, and they do, he gets off. Woo! Yeah, it, it was, I mean, all these matches, like you said, were telegraphed. It's like... It's almost like back in the old days of WWE where they would fight some totally unknown guy, and it was like this warm-up match kind of thing. That's exactly. kind of what it was like. It, at least Johnny Gargano fought back a little bit, though. We were talking exactly. about this. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least he fought back and tried, but it was like, dude, it was, Joe's going to kill you. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was done. He yeah. was done. But it was good. It's like good setup because now nobody lost their matches, so it's like, oh, all three won. So who is going yeah. to be the ultimate winner next week? Kind of exactly. deal. Exactly. Yeah. So that there was that. Then there was a, we had a Paul Cruz and Ty Dillinger, the perfect ten. I, I don't like that. Guy. I hate him. He comes out. Yeah. It's I'm like, like oh, stop if, it. If you're gonna call yourself a perfect ten, shouldn't you? Look win. and act like a perfect ten and win. That would yeah. Win. I, I think it's a joke. Maybe it's maybe it's done ironically. I don't know. 
if that's the way it is, fine. I'll accept it. But I, I just can't latch on to that guy. I've seen him a few times now, and just I, uh, I didn't like. I don't like him. I've yeah. seen him a few times myself. I just can't get into him. Yeah. But Apollo Cruz, I. I like watching this guy wrestle. He is really developing very nicely. He definitely has potential for NXT. And like you said, I could definitely see him move up to you know the the Royal Rumble. I mean, this guy's big guy. And, um, the one thing I really like was at the end of the match, he won and he took the mic. He's like, "Listen, I want Finn Balor, Balor, but I don't want the belt. I just want to fight Finn Balor, and I want to prove." Once and for all, who the real winner is. I don't yeah. want your belt. I just want a match. And he got it, as yeah. a matter of fact. Yeah. I love – that's one reason why I love Steven Regal, whether it's just for story or not. Steven Regal really is doing really well in NXT. He's yeah. a really good head at NXT. Or William Regal now. He was Steven Regal in WCW. You're right. Oh, William Regal. Yeah. Why did the guy keep changing his first name? He's not sure who he is anymore. I, don't know. I watch his name as like Biff or something. It's not even Steven or Will. <laughs> I think actually his really name is something different. I, I believe. Let me look it up. Man is going through an identity crisis. I'm telling you, his real name is <laughs> totally different, dude. Darren Kenneth Matthews. <laughs> Darren. Darren. Yep. That reminds me of Bewitched. You want to hear the funny thing? Mm. His wife's last name is Regal. <laughs> well, we know where Regal comes from. <laughs> oh, shoot, that's funny. That's he's, hilarious. He's been known as King Regal, Lord Stephen Regal, Roy Regal, Steve Roy. Regal, Stephen William Regal, and William Stephen. Regal. And William. <laughs> Roy, Stephen, Will, and William. Yep. And his name's Darren. Roy. <laughs> Roy. Roy, Roy Regal, what is that? Oh. <laughs> no, that, uh, look, regardless of what name he goes by, he does well. Yeah, with he, what does. he does. He really so I does. I will give him that. Is he in the the Hall of Fame yet? Probably not. Probably I don't think so. Yeah. He should wrestle a little bit again. I mean, he's not that old yet. No. I don't know if he's, I don't know why he retired. I don't know if he was injured or if he just decided it Maybe was done. Injury. Maybe an injury. No. Could be. He, he was always good. He was, you know, very underrated, I think. I agree. He was always, like, kind of like that side character who went for the U.S. or Intercontinental belt, not really somebody who was taken too seriously, which sucks because he was good. Yeah, he, he did some things in there that nobody else was really doing. The way he – his moves and stuff, it was really interesting. I agree, 100%. So, the only other match on the card this uh, this week was the women's tag match. Mm-hmm. With uh, was it Bailey and Carmelo versus Alexa Bliss and Emma? What the hell? Where's Emma coming from? That's what I want to know. It's like Emma. I mean, if Oscar was involved, maybe, but Emma? Because with Emma, it's all about me. I can't stand Alexa Bliss. I know it's just her character, but her character makes me want to scratch. I like Alexa Bliss more than I like Emma. I don't. I can't. Oh, I hate Emma. Emma. I, I could. I could live with Emma leaving, but Alexa Bliss annoys me. She does. Yeah, she annoys me too, especially in the backstage stuff. In the ring, I don't mind. I, I kind of like the attitude, but when she's talking, I just want somebody, some other girl, to come up and slap her. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> I want a lot of people to come up and just slap them. <laughs> <laughs> but Bailey and Carmella won. Of course. They beat them, of course. Uh, you know the. Number one contender and the champion teaming up, besties, and now they're gonna fight. It's I have cool. to, I have to say one thing though. The backstage before the match, where uh, Bliss was telling Carmella and um, Bailey, "I'm gonna beat you." Uh, maybe Bailey needs work, or maybe that's just her character. But she was smiling, like, "Don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't let it get to you." And I'm like, <laughs> Bailey, either you are too happy, or you're. She's like me. She smiles even in stressful situations, and it's like it's out of character. Like when we did Epic Story, I would laugh when we were fighting. Like you see the yeah, smile sure. on my face, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like it's it's a, it's like a it's a nervous kind of that's yeah. how it is kind of deal. Yeah. So I understand it if that's Bailey's case. Usually, I'm, it's funny. I'm kind of that way, and when I get like really bad news, I immediately do this like little nervous laugh thing, and I can't control it. It's like I don't want to laugh. And if, like, I'm he telling had, somebody about it, I laugh, and it's it's 
I had a kid. We had a person. One of our teachers passed away when I was in grade school, and he started laughing before he started crying. And everybody got so mad at him; they wanted to beat him up because they thought he was laughing. That he thought it was funny, but then when they saw he was laughing, but he was crying at the same time, they realized. Yeah, I think maybe with some people, I, I think it's more. It's definitely with me that way. I think with some people, maybe it's like there's emotion there, and you want to let it out, but you don't want to show that vulnerability of tears and everything so it comes out in a, in a different way maybe it's true. i don't know but i don't know but bailey is an awesome wrestler i think mm-hmm. if anybody uh, in the women's division deserves to move up next it's her and it's oh there's another woman wrestler that i really like watching oscar oh oscar definitely but she needs to stay in nxt for yeah. a little while longer she just came it would look really bad mm. if she moved up before half the other ones you yeah. know that have been there for a while but no oscar definitely as she gets you know more developed as a character um, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking of all the women wrestlers. Because then you could say the same thing about Nia Jax, but she yeah. needs time to develop. Right. So I forgot, but let's let's just say Bailey definitely and um, Asuka and, and definitely Nia Jax once they develop a little more. I will say Eva Marie needs to move up from NXT. No, Eva Marie nope. needs to give that up. Nope, no, wait, no. Let me let me finish. She needs to move. Oh, up there's from, more. Okay. She needs to move up from NXT to TNA. <laughs> Yes! Send her to TNA. Yes! Her and Dixie her? Carter would be perfect together. That, that would be fine with me. I, uh, no. I agree. I can't stand her either. I, no. She she doesn't work for me. Yeah. Good personality, bad personality. It's... Oh, hello. That's the thing. It's... Yeah, it's just... It's boring. It's not... I agree. She doesn't make for good... rest. That's why I think she doesn't wrestle too much, because they see that nobody really... Yeah, I, you know, so, some people have it and some people just don't. And I know she has tried hard because from Total Divas, you can see that she's actually tried. But it just doesn't connect. It's not fluid when she gets in there. It, it feels like she's going through steps. You know what I mean? You know what she should do? She should do what um, the person I always make fun of whose name left me completely, the woman. The Ugly one you woman. make fun of? Uh, Summer Rae. She could do what Summer Rae did. Summer Rae was a wrestler, and then she became kind of like a manager. Mm-hmm. I could see Eve Marie as kind of like a manager for a tag I, team or something. I would rather see her like that, kind of like um, Trish Stratus was with uh, Tess and exactly. Albert. Exactly, yeah, yes. That kind of. Yes. Yeah, or kind of like Alexa Bliss is in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see her with that kind of character. That would be better. So that's what I would see as Eve Marie. Yeah. But that was, unfortunately, all of NXT. NXT needs to grow. I mean, hopefully at some point it will. And then, look, the takeover could be three hours instead of two hours. Yeah, that's true. So, like a regular paper game. Exactly. So, you know, you slowly build it up. Yeah. But it needs. we need more match. We need to really beef up in time the show. I'm willing to sit through two hours. I don't care. Of NXT, I, yeah. I, yeah, I'd rather Raw loses an hour of their three hours... And NXT gets that extra hour for yeah. their show. They deserve it. I think almost every wrestling fan in the world would agree with you on that. Honestly. I, I really think so. So I do. So, but that's our show. That's it. That's it. We're going yeah. to the Rumble. Hopefully we'll see some NXT uh, guys there. Joe, you know, Joe, yeah. Joe. Oh, that would be awesome. At least one or two, I'd be happy. At least we get something. Um, Same. Exactly. Either way, tune in. This Sunday or Monday for our Royal Rumble episode. And then we'll be back next week for uh, Raw and NXT all over again. Exactly. Yeah. So, But we will get the Rumble up really ASAP. TLC, mm-hmm. unfortunately, holidays. But this time we will be back on point. And then there's only two more pay-per-views. till yep. um, Well, the second one. There's this one, Road, and then... Uh, what was it? Bound for Glow? No. Fastlane. 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 I was right. and then Wrestle. Fastlane and then WrestleMania, man. So yeah. that's it. Two more to go after this. Yep. So till then, guys, as always, Brand says, brought to you by Vanilla Coke. Oh, yeah. Brought to you by Lindor Truffles. <laughs> <laughs> Which there's only one left in here now. All right, so you guys can check out us on everything else, zone4podcast.com, lastnumberpress.com, comicfrontline.com, darkavengerc86, where's my tail, and... Brooklyn Boys! Brooklyn Boys, 13. 13. So, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you Sunday or Monday for the World Rumble. Bye. Take care, guys. This 
has been a Gonzo Goose production. Bonk!